Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shad Bahashim, or God Kardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to y'all out there. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson on this uh, March the 27th 2022 uh, on this Sunday afternoon and the highlight of this sit down lesson the title is going to be uh, for now it's high time to wake out of sleep and this is the uh, book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11 and it reads through the holy scriptures and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for our salvation is nearer than we believe. Yes, it's a uh, high time to wake out of sleep. You children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites that were scattered abroad through the four corners of the globe, through your bloodlines of your uh, father's fathers, which is an Israelite, the seed of the father and descendants of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They later turned to Israel, you know. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you speak word Israelites as well, too. Now it's high time to wake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than we believe. Because you're seeing all these uh, prophecies are taking place around the whole globe. You know, the, the wars and rumors of wars. Uh, the nations arise against nations and perplexities of the nations uh, the MOTBs coming into full effect you know uh, if a house be divided how shall it stand you know dividing other nations going against one another clashing with, with each other then the uproars of the people and the hyperinflation you know the market crash you know, economics of the dollar is crashing, you know. So, you know, these are uh, signs to, for it's high time for us to wake out of sleep. And Jacob's trouble is coming soon as well, too. Because we're seeing, we seeing that being fully implemented as well, too, you know. You know, like the uh, scripture says, uh, you know, uh, seek seek the Lord while he, while he may be found. Because, you know, you see the servants, the uh, true prophets of the Lord, the men of the Lord, uh, the men of uh, Yahweh Shai, the ambassadors of Yahweh Shai. You know, that's why, you know, you see the men out there uh, on the highways and byways prophesying to modern day Mount Seir. You know, prophesying. Uh, through the four winds of the globe, as you see that, you know, as you see all the Akim and the brothers, and the brothers and the elders, apostles and the elders and bishops and the deacons throughout the four corners of the globe, you see that, you know, they're uh, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely, preaching the uh, righteous gospel, the right and 100% correct doctrine, you know. And so, yeah, you know, it's high time to uh, wake out of sleep. How is salvation nearer than we believe? Because like I mentioned before, all these uh, prophecies and world events, which according to the biblical scriptures of these prophecies are taking place, you know, right before our eyes, you know. Because the door of repentance is, is definitely closing. And it is showing itself that it is closing, you know. You know, seek the Heavenly Father where he may be found because of the time of trouble that's coming ahead and more upcoming prophecies as well, too, you know. Even though, you know, I mentioned in my previous videos, you know, only a remnant is going to be saved. One third of Israel is going to be saved and two thirds of Israel is not going to be making. So that's why... Uh, Seek the Lord while he may be found, especially in the uh, current modern day times that we are living in. Because the, the times that we are living in is going to be more uh, perilous and it's going to get more crazy.
crazier. That's why it's best to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the in the times that we are living in to have that balance, righteous, positive uh, stability of mind, the uh, a balanced mind frame in the times you know that we are coming into. You know, that's why I seek the Lord where He may be found. For now, it is high time to wake out of sleep. I roughly paraphrase through those two scriptures, you know, I reference, you know, uh, this is the book of, uh, first Peter chapter four, verse seven in the Holy scriptures. And it reads, but the end of all things is at hand. So be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Right. Cause like the scripture says, uh, uh, the Heavenly Father's shorten the days for the elect's sake, you know, and Lord willing, you know, we be those men, you know, for, uh, fighting for that salvation, you know, being that number, that 144, you know, you know, we praying for all the, uh, we praying for the elders, apostles, great millstone, you know, righteous, hardworking men, you know, been in this truth for 30 plus years. And still going strong to that the body out by Shemel Shot, you know, for setting up men like them still to this day and still continue to learn from them, you know. And for the uh, elders and the deacons and the bishops and the Akim and the Brotherhood, you know, that's why, we, you know, we pray constantly every day that, you know, we be in that number, you know, that 144. You know, that's why these days are short for the elect's sake, you know. And Lord willing, you know, <clears throat> as we uh, watch constantly and continue to pray, you know, continue to do our lessons as it's worked for us to do and be on the highways and byways, you know, fighting spiritually, fighting these uh, demons and evil spirits that try to come. And we, like the scripture says, re resist the devil and he should leave, you know, spiritual Satan and physical Satan as well, too. You know, that's why we uh, pray to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, uh, Yahweh Shai as well, too. That, you know, He continue to uh, keep us in this uh, balanced, positive, right frame of mind of uh, being soberly, spiritually. You know, it's not just only being, you know, being drunk and you're not sober and, you know, you're drunk and stuff like that. You know, it's something else different as well, too being uh soberly sober in the mind because your heart is your mind you know and being soberly spiritually sober you know and being circumspect and that's why i gotta learn that's why i gotta learn as well too you gotta be a uh, circumspect you know and i reference that until uh the brother elder, elder benjamin elder benjamin you know from the uh, gms chicago branch you know, and I was thinking that in my mind as well, too, you know. I kind of uh, learned that from him, you know, being uh, circumspect. Especially, you know, being spiritually sober and being spiritually uh, circumspect of your surroundings, you know. You know, because you're going to have, like, evil spirits and uh, evil de deities around you and everything like that so that's why you gotta be uh, spiritually sober minded and constantly continue in prayer you know cause, uh, cause we are seeing these signs of uh, things that are the end at our at hand you know cause we seeing these things cause you know these uh, prophecies and these global events <coughs> taking around the world you know, especially around our inner circle as well, too, and our outer circle, you know, throughout the four corners of the globe, you know. Right, and this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleeps. And arise from the dead, and Hamashiach Yahweh shall give thee life. Right, this these dry bones, the uh, children of Israel, you know, the valley of the dry bones, you know, 
you know, we're constantly, consistently uh, trying to wake up the the elect men of those dry bones, you know. Men, women, and children, but first and foremost, it goes with the men, you know. You know, that's why the men of the Lord are fishing for the elect, you know, trying to get them out of that, uh, that valley of dry bones status to breathe life back into them, you know. Because, you know, Israel is uh, spiritually dead right now, especially the ones that's in the world that still don't know that they are the children of Israel, uh, the true lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too, that scattered abroad through the four corners of the globe. You know, for now is a high time to wake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than we believe, you know. Because this is the end of uh, Idumian's rulership. Because like in the last day, he should come down with great wrath, you know. Because he know he what he have but a uh, short time, you know, in these last days, you know. And this is the uh, book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 34. And it reads through all the scriptures. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of your help. I speak, I speak this to your shame, right? Because, you know, that goes back into the Israelites that's in the world, you know, Jakes that's still lost on who they are, you know, you know, and they conform to this world, you know, you're not supposed to conform to this world, you know, even though you're physically of this world but not spiritually be of it, you know. So, you know, try our best to get back into righteousness' sake and seeing that, you know, and get back into the wisdom knowledge of, uh, yeah, yeah, how about Shemel Shai as much as possible, you know, while the door of repentance is uh, still open for us, you know. it for today for the sit down lesson so I uh, hope this was edifying to the spirit power grace and mercy of your how are you and uh, first and foremost I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to your how by Hashem your how will shine by Hashem or Karkadash double honors to the elders apostles great millstone preaching his word truthfully and sincerely and uh, shout out to the Akim scattered through the four points of the globe preaching his word truthfully and sincerely and uh, shalom to the uh, Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom.